Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com, Primal Athlete Training Center here in Cranston, Rhode Island. So, I know we've been doing the Technique Tuesday videos, we've been doing the online coaching videos. As you see, we've got some camps and clinics that are coming up around the, uh, around the U.S. Been really busy here, doing a lot of videos as well. And, um, you know, along with the Technique Tuesday videos and along with the weekend coaching videos that we do, um, I also like to answer still some of the, the random questions that come in. I still get a lot of questions, most of which have been answered, but I got one today that I've never really talked about before, but it's important as a thrower, and that is ankle flexibility. Now, I want to talk about ankle flexibility, but I also want to talk about keeping the ankles healthy. Flexibility is a big part of that. But as athletes, as you saw in the last Technique Tuesday video about the mirror turn, you know, if I can, it's hard to pull my legs up, but if you can picture my leg here, we've got landing on the toe. So we're constantly on that toe. <sighs> Skinny calves and big quads, it's horrible. But we're gonna land, boom, on the toe. Now look, your calf, your ankle, your toes, the bottom of the feet, Everything is going to take a beating as you're doing this. So you want to keep your ankles flexible. You want to keep your ankles healthy. On top of that, having ankles that are inflexible are going to really throw off your squat technique. It's going to throw off your deadlift technique and your clean technique as well. Um, other things are going to get affected as well, but those are typically the big three. So what do I do for my ankles? Well, I always stretch the heck out of my ankles because it helps me in my squat position and in my deadlift starting position which keeps my lower back very healthy. My first thing that I do are ankle rolls. So again, it's freezing cold outside so I'm wearing pants. But what we're going to do, giant quads, what we're going to do is ankle rolls. Make myself little capri pants. So what we're doing is we're moving the ankle in a clockwise motion. We're pushing out to the side of the ankle as much as we can. So we're trying to get the heel down on one side and then the other, making big circles. And I'll typically do about 50 going clockwise per ankle and then 50 counterclockwise per ankle. So just basic ankle rolls. The other thing that I like to do is Around the gym, we have equipment that has, you know, posts that are about the same height as the sled that you see right here. So we have our power rack has a bar that's a few inches off the ground. Our lat pull-down machine has a bar that's a few inches off the ground. Our glute ham raise. They've got bars that are just about, you know, three to four inches off the ground. So what I like to do is just stretch out my calf and my ankle here. Now what you're gonna notice, some people make the mistake of just putting the tips of their toes and it ends up becoming like a toe stretch where they're just basically just pushing their toes or bending their toes back as far as possible. I like to try to get the ball of my foot higher. And what I'll do is I'll use my back foot to push my body weight down into that toe. So you're not on the tips of your toes, you're on the ball of your feet. And we're just trying to drive the ankle and get that flexion in the back of the ankle near the Achilles. So we're just driving forward. Now you notice I'm trying to get as much of my weight as possible over that ankle. And if the foot slips down, I just reset the foot and try to drive into it again. Now the last thing that I do for my ankles, I actually can't take credit for. I've got to give credit where it's due, and that's my man, Travis Mash. Travis is a former, or I believe still holds, maybe still holds, world records in powerlifting. He also trained at the Olympic Training Center, and he has freak weightlifting athletes that compete at you know, national level and junior national level competitions. Um, he's just a phenomenal, phenomenal coach. We had him do a clinic here a few months back, it was over the summer, and he showed a way to get the ankles flexible using a weightlifting bar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my feet, let me make sure you can see this, put my feet pretty close together. You can see they're a couple inches apart, my toes are pointed out. This is gonna be different for everybody. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna drive my knees out 
and I'm going to put the Olympic bar on top of my knees and under my armpits. You can see that there. What I'm going to do then is just shift to one side. Now I'm stretching out my ankle, stretching out the Achilles is feeling this. Let's see if I can roll up my oh, a little bit. So I'm trying to keep the foot flat on the ground and I'm shifting my weight to one side. Then I'm just going to shift back, trying to keep that foot flat and shift to the other side. I'm going to hold it. Now the 45 pound bar is just providing a little bit extra resistance to help push. So I'm just going to go right ah, over that right foot. It does not feel good. It's a stretch. It's supposed to hurt a little bit. And then ah, over that left foot, trying to keep the heel on the ground as much as possible. And I'll go back and forth a few times just to make sure that I get them nice and stretched out. From there, I might bang out a couple more ankle rolls uh, or some more of the calf ankle stretches on the prowler. So that's what I do for my ankles. It's a very important part, especially as throwers. We're constantly landing on those toes. We're constantly pushing off the feet. Your ankles take a big brunt of the punishment from all of the pounding that we do in those circles. So make sure to take care of your ankles, make sure to keep them stretched out, keep them flexible. It's going to help you in the weight room as well. All right, guys, make sure go to EliteThrowsCoaching.com. You can sign up to be a part of our online team, or you can check out our camps that are coming to Massachusetts in April and our three-day overnight camp in Pennsylvania in July. Hope to see you there.